Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 323-405-1341. That's 323-405-1341. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal Buyer's Protection Guarantee. And let's talk about this whole Kevin Samuels. Yeah, I was going to get to that next. Kevin Samuels passing away. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Um, man, man, man. No matter what you might have thought about the guy, um, you had to acknowledge certain things about him you know he definitely was an intelligent dude um i respected his you know cleanness wanting to you know project a certain image um definitely dapper and i think you know he was one of those, you know, he would come with some hard truth at times. Um, I'm not going to say I 100% agree with everything he said and how he said it, but there definitely was some shit that was right on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um and I think the way that a lot of people are <clears throat> dealing with his death and talking shit about him um, after he passed, <clears throat> it's very tasteless. It's very, um, you know, classless and acting like, ah, like, like only a hit dog holler. You see what I'm saying? And it seemed like all of these ones hollering are the ones that felt like they was hit by what he was saying. You know what I mean? Like, like. Um, and let's keep it real, Lord Jamar. What demographic is doing this? You said what demographic is doing what? We're talking about the people um, talking down on his name after the man passed, right? Oh, a lot of the a lot of the sisters. Okay. A lot of the sisters. Because he was, you know, <clears throat> seemed like he was uh, pretty harsh on sisters. And I'm not going to say he wasn't, but to just be aha and, and see, that's why you dead type of shit. Like, that's not cool, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, that's not cool. What was he trying to tell y'all? He was trying to tell y'all to... um be realistic with your expectations. You know what I mean? Stop buying into the fantasy that they sell you. You know? Now, all this shit about a high-value man and the high-value, you know, I don't subscribe to, because we were just talking about this before, you know, about money doesn't make you, you know, to me, money doesn't make you a high-value man. You know? Because, again, you can be a piece of shit. You can have money and be a piece of shit. So what makes you a high value man is what's in here. You know what I mean? Right. And how you move and manifest that. Right. And that's what makes you a high value anything. Um, <clears throat> but that being said, you do want to be with high value people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but that doesn't mean that this high value person is going to be making, you know, $250,000 a year and able to, you know, fucking put you up to where you don't have to work and all this crazy shit. Like, like this is the type of shit he was trying to tell sister. Um, 
that you might have to be more realistic and deal with the guy who makes 40,000 a year. Especially at a certain time of your life, especially when y'all sisters think, see, y'all been fooled into thinking, well, if a man can do it, I can do it. No, no. You're the prize, sisters. You're the prize. You're not so the master every, key. You're not the time, master key. Right, but it but but the master key is just a key that opens the prize. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, like. A lock is to protect something. You see? Mm -hmm. So they have the lock, we have the key, but mm -hmm. they have the thing that's being protected. They have, you know what I mean? They have right. the thing that's being protected. So every time you just give yourself to all of these men and, and then, you know, you're just putting yourself more out of the game to have a husband. You know, and this is the type of shit he was trying to tell y'all too. Like, you can't just be running around all promiscuous in twenties and then think that you're gonna find yourself a husband in your thirties, especially if during those twenties you might have had a couple of seeds with somebody unwed. You know, like, well, then why are they gonna want to have a seed with you? Right. I mean, why are they gonna want to marry you? Right. You didn't marry the other guy. But you had seeds with him. Why? Why I would have wanted to do it? You know why well, I got to be the sucker? Because that's how a lot of niggas feel. Like let's keep it real. Mm. They'll be like, yeah, why I got to be? You know, the cleanup man, Aaron McCullough. Thank you. Said, Peace, God, love the show. Keep doing your thing. Appreciate you, bro. Um. So those are a lot of things that sisters didn't want to hear. Did you see where um, Vivica Fox was going out on, on Kevin Samuels? Did what, you see are, that? What, what, what did her washed up behind say, man? <laughs> it's a lot of bullshit. Like, you know, yeah, she he said women now over 35 was uh, leftovers and all kind of crazy shit that I'm not even sure he exactly said. Did 50 um, want you, Vivica? Did 50 <laughs> want you? Answer me that. Riddle me this. Did 50 want you? <laughs> Come on, man. Seems like no. Um, yeah. Now, did he, is it true that he had a heart attack while smashing? See, now that I'm not sure. Hmm. They're saying that he fell on, he had a heart attack and fell on top of her. I guess we're all assuming that they were smashing, hmm. but we don't know. There's a lot of first reports was that he met her the night before. And, and then she's she like a nurse or something? Yeah, she's a nurse. But then she's mm. saying that, you know, she don't she's not a one night stand and all this type of shit. And mm. people are slandering her or whatever. I you know. So I don't know. Mm. Um I mean they said he drank a lot of Red Bull on the show. <laughs> now, that's what I wanted to bring up, okay? <laughs> There's a theory that the boy might have, because he did drink a lot of Red Bulls. <laughs> so there's a theory. Maybe he he had a Red Bull with maybe one of them uh, blue pills, okay? Mm. Mm. And then, uh, you know, maybe topped it off with a little Rudy Toot Toot. I don't know. Mm. But he even let's say it was just a Red Bull and a fucking... And a Yagra. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know what I mean? Right. Maybe. Bad combo. You know, maybe he had heart disease already. Like, like those suits and all that, you know, were tailored nice, but that doesn't mean the man was in shape. We don't know what was under there. We don't know if he was, you know, type of motherfucker to go to the gym and work out. And, you know, we don't know his heart health. And he did drink those Red Bulls like water on that show. Like, I, I remember seeing that back in the days. And, and and I'm thinking for somebody that seems to or portrays to have everything together, like, why would you drink Red Bull? Why like, like, a lot of them. Right. Like, and I guess he's trying to 
he needed to keep himself up. Like, like, and Yo, I, I ain't going front when I'm on my grussel. I'm not going front. Them Red Bulls be kicking in, Lord J. Yo, I don't like Red Bull. I don't mm. even like the way it tastes. I don't like the way I just don't like them. I don't fuck with it. Mm. But go ahead. You notice he drank a lot of Red Bull and you were wondering about that, right? Yeah, I was wondering about that. Could it have been some sort of cocktail that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That helped to uh, <clears throat> take him out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I feel like I'm having fucking um, deja vu right now. Like, even these comments I'm reading. Vivica still looks good. She just got mentally insane and will, will die. I think he wants to say alone, but he said alone. Mm. Somebody else said, Vivica got the maniac cop face. <laughs> Yo, yeah, she's looking crazy these days. I don't know what the fuck up with Vivica. Mm. Andre Mitchell said he spoke slot about being, oh, a lot about being in shape, but he also was a proponent of certain pharmaceuticals. This is the year of vaccidents, bro. Peace. Ooh, vaccidents. Wow. I like that word. Mm. Did he have a vaccident? He seems like the type that would have took that thing thing. Right? Don't he? He seems like he, 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 he. You think so? Would trust the science? Yeah, I think he might be a science truster. Mm. Trust the doctors and, and felt like he was doing the f f responsible thing. You know? Is that how you met the nurse? Right. I don't know. Mm. I was getting my booster and I met a... Hmm. See, yeah, we're not thinking about that either. Blood clots from the goddamn Banga Boonga. Mm. The booster. Mm. A blood clot booster. A booster. A booster blood clot. I put a blood clot in a booster there. Man, it's getting spooky out here, Lord Jamar. <clears throat> a booster. They said he was traveling a lot. Okay. So let's let's put this all into perspective. Red Bulls traveling a lot, like like in planes. Think about um, not getting rest. You can get what's called embolisms and shit. Like when you're going up in the air and coming down and all of that, mm -hmm. you can get what's called an embolism. Um, it's like some like an air bubble or some shit in your blood, mm. and that can fuck you up, give you a heart attack. Um. Yeah, so maybe the traveling combined with the Red Bulls and the Yagra, and maybe like you know, he could have had a little. Because you know, I, I hear people still do that. I, I you know, niggas are sniffing out here, right? Mm. Like, mm. it's not just back in the eighties. Like, motherfuckers is openly sniffing now. You see, uh, Cardi B was at some shit, and she told the people, "Go ahead and you know, have a good time." If that was the case, though, you think they'll probably reveal the toxicology report? We'll probably go get word out. Thank you, Pele Manuel. <clears throat> yeah, sadly, some of our good friends trust the science mm. and went ahead and got that damn shot. Um, you know, we had an episode where we spoke. Um, when we first spoke about Kevin Samuels and you were comparing his intro song to the Godcast intro song. Do you remember that? Kind of, yeah. His intro song was kind of... You said, da, na, na, na. how did you say it? You I were forget singing. how it goes. I forget now how it goes. Good life. Kinda, yeah, it's kind of sweet. Um, I mean, I'm not going to front and, and not act like I wasn't didn't sit on this show and question whether this guy was fully straight or not you know what i mean because it was just certain things about him and certain little mannerisms and the way it seemed like he was going so hard on these sisters that it made me question 
you know, and I've seen some, you know, and I'm not here to talk shit about a dead man. I'm just speaking facts. Uh, I, you know, we did see some pictures of him when he was younger. You know, and those pictures looked a little spicy, you know. Um, so I just didn't know what the deal was. Now, in his defense, apparently he died on top of a woman, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so, um, and I, you know, and as of recent, I did hear him speaking. He said he he acted like he was trying to speak up for alpha men and all that. And just talking about betas and alphas. And, and listen. Again, I think he said certain things to the sisters that you know could be construed as harsh you know he was that he was that he was that nasty medicine he was that medicine that uh don't taste good you know what i mean but i do feel that he was a form of medicine you see medicine can be poisoned depending on the dose you know what I mean? All medicine is is poison depending on the dose. If I give you too much of the medicine, it can kill you. Mm. You know? Um, I think he was, you know, he was given some bitter, he was given some bitter medicine to people. You know? And they're not, and they're not happy about that now, but y'all need to stop with the bullshit. Stop, stop. You know what I mean? You hear about the other bull that they're bringing up now? I recently read about how they're saying his mother is now trying to get donations to bury him because he was always talking about high value men and the wallet, men's wallet, but he only had a thousand dollars to his name. Who? Kevin Samuels. He lived in a lived in an apartment and only had a thousand dollars to his name and was heavily in debt. So now the mother's trying to get donations for his uh, burial. Wow. I don't know how true it is, but I, I read that. Now they're trying to attack the man's uh, finances now, calling him a hypocrite. Only had a thousand to his name. Well, see, I, you know, if you don't know if, if that's true, I'm not sure if I'd even, you know what I mean? I would try to get more verification on that. Um, <clears throat> but long story short, they're coming at him left and right. Left and right, man. Yeah, well, and I'm saying chill. It's not cool, right? You know, don't think. You know, don't 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 always be ready to shoot the messenger. You know what I mean? Right. Get your shit together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. You, we can't always have our cake and eat it too. Like, like you can't do everything that you think that you want to do and still be. Respect it. You know what I mean? Like, like you can't, and I'm not just putting this on just women, but just for an example, like ladies, you can't dress like a whore and be expected to be treated like a queen. It mm -hmm. doesn't work like that. If you dress like a whore, niggas is going to think you're a whore. You know what I mean? And they're probably going to talk to you and treat you as such. But if you dress like a queen, mm -hmm. hold yourself like a queen. They're going to talk to you and treat you as such. Right. Facts. Facts. So you can't dress I'm like a police officer like, and say you're not. I'm not a police officer just because I'm wearing a police uniform. Thank you. Right. Well, God damn it. You look like a. I think. Oh, yes. Yeah, Chappelle said that, right? Yeah. God damn it, you look like a goddamn cop. Look like you, you know what I mean? You got that wearing badge the on. Wearing the uniform. Right, you wearing the uniform of a hoe. <laughs> 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 so, uh, excuse me if I thought you was hoeing. You know? <laughs> we can't we can't be doing all of that and then mad when somebody points that out. Like... Mm. And yes, there's ways and tactics of how to say things and, you know, mm. some of us are, are better 
at certain things, at sugarcoating things than others, you know? But I don't think what he said was worthy of the type of vitriol that um, is being spewed towards this man in his death, you know? Um, yeah. Well, he can't even defend himself. He, he, whether you liked him or not, he made you think. And he he made us have conversations about, you know, relationships in our community, especially, that needed to be had. So now let's continue these conversations in a respectful way that, you know, we're able to hear each other and have some sort of productive um, understanding and resolution to our relationships. Right. Yes. And it may only get worse, ladies. It may only get worse because now the door is wide open for all those other channels that were talking the same stuff he was talking. Oh, well, you know somebody's going to have to step in. Yep. And be the new <laughs> the new <laughs> Kevin Samuels. We'll, we'll, <laughs> uh, we're we're going to find out who that's going to be like. And what's so funny is I, <laughs> The way the internet is, I wouldn't be surprised if some there's not somebody like right now shooting mm. their show, uh, yep. trying to be. Then he got his suit on and he's ready to go. Like, yep. yep. Um, we'll like see. clockwork. Like clockwork. <laughs>